Pro Tools templates can be a really helpful way to get started on different types of projects really fast. For instance, having a podcast template or having a hip hop writing template. However, there's something that I've found that not a lot of people seem to use when they're starting a new session and that is a blank start template. It's a template for starting a session from scratch and it either has minimal or no tracks in it at all. However, it really helps you reset your Pro Tools work area and your IO setup and a whole bunch of other things that you probably don't even realize take up a lot of time every time you start a new session with like leftover settings from previous sessions. So today I'm gonna walk you through why I use one, why it's so helpful, what it kind of helps reset and how you can use it to get started faster. Now stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna give you a little bit of a trick on how I use this technique along with track presets to get working even faster. What is up guys, Alex from Creates here. Pro Tools is basically an extension of my hands and I'm always finding ways to work faster and more efficient and I wanna share them with you so that you can get your creative ideas out faster. All right, let's dive in and let me show you why a blank start template is so useful. So here I have a session in Pro Tools that is not my session and is laid out very much like I would not lay it out. For instance, the clip list is open. The color scheme is very strange to me. I don't like the colors, how they are. The columns that I have open on the tracks, all the different modules along the top, I don't need them all. They're basically all checked off. Also, if I switch over to the mix window, there's no plugins here. There's nothing. I, this is not how I would lay out my mix window either. Now, if I save this session and close it, and I'm going to create a new session, a straight up new session like normal, and I'll just call this new song, and I'm gonna save it right near that one, just for ease sake. I start a new session and look at this, the clip list is open, the track is expanded, the whole thing along the top is the same as it was before. And when I create new tracks, I get this rainbow colored stuff. And the other thing is that in this session, I get the IO from the last session. So it has all these weirdly labeled buses in the IO that are relevant to the last song, but not relevant to me anymore. This is where a blank template comes in handy. So we're gonna close this session and we're gonna start a new session but this time I'm going to pick from create from template and I have this one here called blank start. When I start this one up, you'll notice a big difference in the Pro Tools layout. Now you'll notice right away there are a couple tracks because these are the tracks that I like to start with my master bus routing, but the clip list is gone. The tools that I like are checked off and I don't have every single module up across the top that I don't need, that I don't want to start with. And when I go into the IO window in this session, I'm back to the standard IO that I want. And I have the columns that I want to open on the tracks in the edit window, as well as the mix window. I now have the stuff that I want to see here. And the other thing is when I create new tracks, they aren't colored strangely. And my the way that I like them colored is by group. So you can see here now it's by group again. So when I turn the groups on and off, the tracks become colored. Again, this is just the way that I like to work, but it's reset all of those things with this blank start template that I have done. It's undone what I did in those other sessions. I reset the views that I have. I reset a bunch of settings that I want. The fades are involved in this. The IO is involved in this. There's a whole bunch of stuff involved that is now basically reset because I use a template for a blank session, not literally a new blank session. Now, something to know is that it's very easy to kind of update your blank start template. If you have a blank start template and you want to incrementally change it over time, such as the IO, what's defaulting, the basic tracks that your session starts with, or even your view. So for instance, let's say I don't want the instrument column here anymore. I just can uncheck it. And then I'm going to go, okay, I'm going to update this blank start template and I go file, save as template right there. And it's already labeled a blank start. Name it the same thing, click okay. And it asks you if you want to replace the blank start template that I have. I hit replace and it's up to date. Now, if you do wanna know more about templates and creating them and using different templates for different types of projects, leave a comment down below because I will be making a video in the future that goes more in depth into using and creating templates. Now, as I said at the beginning, one of my little tricks that I use to speed up my workflow just that much more is using a blank start template along with track presets. And sometimes what I do is instead of creating a template session that has a whole bunch of stuff that most of it gets deleted because I don't actually need it, what I do is actually use a blank start template and then add the tracks that I need with the track presets feature to build the template that I need to get started while using track presets as kind of bite-sized pieces of your template to get that specific project up and running faster. Now, if you do have questions about track presets, leave them in the comments below because I will be making a video soon about all things track presets, how to get them set up, how to use them and how I use them in my workflow that 
drastically improves my speed of work. So subscribe so you don't miss that. But that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. I hope it gets you started faster and working more efficiently. I will see you in the next one. Until then, always be creating. <laughs>